Hi, this is Eric for Otoy. In this video, we're going to take a look at working with normal maps in Octane for Maya. So for this video, I'm using the robot and pilot underscore o one dot ma scene. And just to kind of speed things up, I'm going to select the magnifier and hide it. And I'll slow this box, I'm going to hide the box. And we're going to apply a new shader to the ground. So I'll select the ground and I'll create a glossy material and apply it. Let's just go into the attributes for the glossy material. I'm going to pull down the diffuse and the specular and increase the roughness. And then go down here to the slot next to normal. Let's click on this checker box and I'm going to use an octane image texture. Since normal maps are RGB textures, I'm going to use octane image texture. So I'll click on this folder. I want to find the gravel textures. And I want to click on gravelnormal.png. And as you can see, the normal map comes in rather large. So I'm going to click on the transform button and find the octane scale transform. And let's set this to 0.1 by 0.1. We don't need to worry about the third field. But if you'll notice, the normal looks good except for the fact that my little rocks in the gravel are divots in the ground so it's inverted that's not what i want in some cases you may need to create a normal map that has a flipped green channel if you haven't done that in your normal map creation program so for instance i created this in substance one workaround you can do is to go into photoshop open the normal map go to the green channel in the channel section and choose image adjustment Convert, then save out the file and reapply. So I've created a second normal map that's in that same folder. So I'll click on this, go to gravel textures and select gravel normal G invert and choose open. And you can see now that the, the bumps are facing the right way. So you'll notice in the glossy material, there is a bump in a normal channel. Uh, it's a good idea if you want to use both of those channels rather than putting them both in the same material it's a better practice to actually mix two materials together one with a bump and one with a normal so if i go into uh, hypershade and you select the object and choose graph materials on selected objects and i'm going to create an octane mix material and let's create an octane glossy material. Bring this down, bring down the specular. And in this new glossy material, I'm going to click on the checker box next to bump. In the create render node window, I'm going to find an octane float image texture. And I'll open up that gravel textures folder and choose gravel height. Let's see if we can neaten this up a little bit. So the middle mouse button, drag this over here. And you can see you have very large bumps. So let's adjust the size of the bump. I'll go into transform, scale transform. Let's set this to 0.5 by 0.5. And make the material a little bit rougher. Now let's select that mix material. And I'm going to blend these two materials. So I'm going to middle mouse button drag each material into the material slots on the mix material and then apply the mix material to the surface. And you can see now I have both the bump and the normal, and I can use the slider on the mix material to kind of blend them together. So that's more of the bump, that's more of the normal, and that's more in between. So that's the basics of using normal maps with uh, Octane for Maya.